Hey guys and welcome back to Best Car Picks. Skoda will unveil the second generation of its first SUV later this year, but is already previewing plenty of details about the Kodiak large SUV, including how it will electrify powertrains. Arriving by mid next year, the 2024 Skoda Kodiak will be available internationally with a choice of petrol, diesel or plug-in hybrid drivetrain, with the entry petrol variant also coupled with a mild hybrid system. Skoda is focusing on petrol or electric models, meaning only the petrol-powered Kodiak is headed here. The entry-level, front-wheel drive petrol drivetrain, a mild hybrid assisted 1.5-liter turbo 4 or making 110 kilowatts, as well as the AWD 2.0-liter turbo petrol with 150 kilowatts, are all but confirmed for Australia, both with a 7-speed DSG transmission. Further specifics will likely be confirmed for the local market closer to 2024. The 150 kW plug-in hybrid is powered by the smaller 1.5-liter engine and a 6-speed DSG, but comes with an electric motor powering the front wheels alongside the engine, drawing power from a 25.7 kWh battery. It can be charged at up to 50 kW with a DC station and boasts a 100 km electric driving range. In terms of the Kodiak's body, it's 4,758 mm long, making it 61 mm longer than before, 1,864 mm wide, and 1,657 mm tall. Skoda says its extra length has increased its luggage capacity by 75 liters in the 7-seater variant to 910L. In terms of tech, the new Kodiak doesn't appear to be breaking new ground. A 12.9-inch central display for the multimedia is found inside near a 10.25-inch driver display, while a set of LED matrix headlights are found at the front. A dual phone charger is perhaps the biggest news for the interior from Skoda's teaser. On the safety front, the SUV has nine airbags, as well as optional, for some reason, side airbags for the rear seats and some automated safety features like emergency assist which brings the car to a stop if a loss of control, in case of a driver emergency, is detected. Hope you enjoyed the video. Do subscribe for more such interesting content, thank you for watching my video.